when 731 first came out, a lot of people were excited about backing Wraith Bands on Lone Druid because now they double up at 25 minutes. But is that actually good? That's what we're going to explore in this video. When we look at the pro players, they actually have very different opinions on whether you should buy Wraith Bands. You see some of them are buying no Wraith Bands at all, some of them buying like one or two, some of them are going all out and buying five or even six Wraith Bands as a huge difference in opinion here. So in this video, we're going to actually test this out and see if it's any good. At first, I was very skeptical about this idea. The reason for that is that hybrid builds on Lone Druid typically don't work. And in the past, a lot of people have been suggesting various kinds of hybrid builds where you build like some items on the hero, some items on the bear. And in the past, these item builds have always been terrible. And the reason for that is that right click items stack with increasing returns. Attack damage items increase the effectiveness of attack speed items and vice versa. So you get this feedback loop and you just don't get that if you go for a hybrid build. And that's why hybrid builds always fall off, or at least they always have in the past. And to illustrate this point, I have here a summer contract setup where we have either all items on the bear, symbolized by this moonshot and divine rapier, or we have all items here on the hero, or we have them mixed up here, split up between hero and bear. And as you're gonna be able to see, you see the DPS here, in the two reasonable setups is uh, fairly similar, around 1200. But here the DPS, if you split it up, is much, much lower here. And that's because obviously you have the synergy between attack speed and damage. And for that reason, I thought, you know, stacking Wraith Bands is going to be a bad idea. But what I failed to truly appreciate is just how absurdly high the benefits from Wraith Bands are at 25 minutes. Let's say you buy 5 Wraith Bands, that costs 2.5k gold roughly. What you get for that is 400 HP, 28.3 armor, 5.7 armor for the bear through a spirit link, 100 attack speed and 50 damage. Also some minor bonuses, 240 mana, 2 HP region per second and 1 mana region per second. But that is actually amazing. And even just the DPS bonus that this gives you, really uh, competes with any kind of a DPS item you could buy on the bear. To test out just how much DPS those Wraith Bands give you, I've set up another test. In each case, we have a bear with uh, some basic items, Phase Boot, Orb of Corrosion, Desolator, and Skull Basher, fairly reasonable item builds. And it's going to be replicated for each of those. But then, uh, each of these um, combinations get some extra items. Here I got the five Wraith Bands. In this other test case, I've instead spent a similar amount of gold to get pure damage items. The Crystallis and Gloves of Haste on the bear. The hero here gets nothing. And then in the third test case, we've set up a, the ultimate test. We've given the bear here a Monkey King Bar. An item that's also like a pure DPS item. Okay, also evasion piercing, but mostly DPS item. That costs almost twice as much as 5 Wraith Bands. So now let's see how these is do. And we can see the DPS is fairly similar in all these test cases. Here the DPS is a bit a little bit lower, but not by much compared to our Wraith Band test. Here the DPS is maybe slightly higher, but not by much. And keep in mind that Wraith Bands don't just give you DPS. They also give you a huge amount of armor, a huge amount of HP, but even so, they're able to actually compete with just pure DPS items and even outcompete them. You know, this also uses up two more slots on the bear, whereas this one has still two slots left on the bear, so you can still buy a lot of items here on the bear. So these are already like superior DPS items compared to pure DPS items, and that's why I just think Wraith Band Spam is the way to go in the current patch. This leaves two more questions open. First of all, how many Wraith Bands should you buy? And then secondly, when should you buy them? Yes. As for how many, I would typically think four or five are a good amount because you do want to have space for boots, especially if you're investing into these Wraith Bands on the hero. 
that that makes extra movement and the hero even more valuable because now you actually want to fight with the hero especially in true form you know actually be able to chase people reasonably well and so boots i think um is something you almost always want to buy with those wraith bands so that's why we don't want one six and then also you might need another slot for something like uh dust of appearance for example so you might have uh something like this for example if you need detection yes. Uh, or in some cases, in some games, you might also want to have like a wand. Uh, so I think like four or five is usually the way to go. You do want to buy a bunch of them because Wraith Bands give you damage and attack speed. So they kind of have increasing returns. They kind of synergize with themselves. So you don't just want to buy like one or two Wraith Bands. You want to go all out. And so when you want to buy the Wraith Bands, I generally think you should just wait until it's about 25 minutes and buy them then you can buy them in the early game but the thing is you're already buying a bunch of really efficient items in the band the early game buying like blightstone face boots over venom these are super efficient items and then you can even add in something like a gloves of haste or two which i really like doing um and so you don't really want to waste your time in the early game buying wraith bands instead you can, of course, go ahead and buy some Wraith and components. You can start with something like uh, two slippers, maybe like two branches. There still is enough gold for a tango and a quelling blade for the bear. Um, that's like a reasonable starting build, and they can later on upgrade those into full Wraith bands. But going for the full Wraith bands in the early game, I think, is a bit of waste. The Wraith bands are a great way of making this already kind of borderline broken hero even more broken at the 25 minute mark. So if you want to see more Lone Druid content in the future, subscribe to this channel because I'm definitely doing more Lone Druid stuff coming up soon here. And now go forth and win some MMR with Lone Druid because that's certainly what I've been doing.